Hello guys, let's make something very simple. I'm going to show you how to make a simple low poly Christmas calendar, which is the one that has only 25 on the front, okay? So we're going to use the default cube, but first we're going to hide this, tape, the light and the camera, because it's way too distracting. Select the default cube. Oh, let me turn my screen case key. All right, so now you see what I'm typing and what I'm clicking. See? All right, so I'm gonna let's talk about this one. I'm gonna go to default cube, mirror. Uh, where's that? Press N. Oh, I shouldn't say a press N or something. <laughs> you know what? I can't help it. Just say, okay, press N to mirror. It's very important, right? I mean, okay, very important. Mirror it. Scale it to the Y. Make it thinner. All right, this is gonna be the paper. Scale it to the Y. Yeah, something like that thick, but yeah, let's make it like that. We just want the 25, okay? So, we got something like that. Now, press 3, press 1, oh, press 1, not the camera, the 0. Grab the 3x, alright, never this one. Grab, now it snaps like that. Very clean. Okay, just like that would do. And let's make another separate object. I mean, you can duplicate this one. Just one shift D to scale. I mean, shift D to duplicate. Go with it. Alright. Let me just scale it a little bit. This is actually act as a, a paper holder. I believe that's what they call, right? Three. Scale it to the Y. Alright. No need to be that thick. Let me grab that a little bit not too much that would do oh and scale it to the x a little bit there we go now you don't have to think too much about it so let's make the the what do you call that the hook stuff i don't know what they're called but i'm gonna use this the plane Rotate X 90 degree, bring it over here, scale, scale again, scale that to the X, make it thinner, not too big, not too small, scale it to the X even more, alright, now I'm going to add some loop cuts, here we go, another loop cut over there, wait, let be very hard so i'm just gonna well load it not the thing go over there press i to insert oh that didn't work oh right 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 before that make sure in object mode control a to apply the scale and then back to here select the face over there should be okay like it should be look like this right now it's even just like that okay oh did i turn this on oh i should i should turn that off Okay, delete the face. This is a low poly, so yeah, you don't have to think too much about it. And if you want, control A. Oh, not control A. Uh, make sure in edit, make sure in uh, M by distance. Okay, we don't have doubles. All right. Now let's make it solid a little bit. Solidify, or you can just extrude. Okay, but I'm gonna use the solidify anyway. Not too thick. Mm hmm, that would do. Control A to apply. Oh, make sure in object mode. Control A to apply. Or you can just press over here. Apply. There we go. Press 3. Make sure in, uh, you're in uh, the, the right orthographic. Okay. Grab that over there. So I'm going to turn this on. Grab that over there. You know what? I'm going to zoom it a little bit more. Turn this off. No need to be super precise. Yeah, that would do. Let's connect this a little bit. That would do, actually. Mm -hmm. If you want to bring it in the middle, then it's, it's okay. It's up to you. I'm going to bring it to the back because it makes sense. The back, okay? Now mirror this one. Okay, going to mirror. Or you can just press N. Oh. Press N. Edit. Or the mirror. This one. Wait, what happened? What's happening? 
all right i actually have mirror that's why we need to enable the mirror first okay make sure this one this one is selected control a to apply or you can just go to here apply now let's use another mirror again select the object mirror there we go or you can just press n there okay so you can press n bring the panel and go to the other mirror the object gonna be the cube and now look at that it's even now low poly no need to add i mean bevel if you want to add a bevel then it's up to you it's okay there we go and now let's apply this one to mirror because we actually don't need mirror for this one control a to apply just apply like that right we don't need this one the the cut there control x we don't need that cut so control m by distance okay we don't have this now we are actually done lastly we're gonna add the number so i mean add the number 25 okay so i'm gonna shift a uh go to text with the text of there oh oh i'm in edit mode i must be in object mode okay shift a add a mesh not a mesh text this one all right now if i press 7 we can see the text press edit tab and i'm gonna go with uh, 25 just 25 would do very easy all right rotate x 90 degree press one and look at that there we go that's our 25 there grab that over there i mean i need more precise i'm gonna turn this on yes grab that over there all right oh where is it there we go go to the here okay so let's attach this one using a shrink wrap okay go to here where's the shrink wrap select this one so which target the one this one not this one okay this one there we go or you can i mean there's another way but i just i don't want to use it and don't worry about that shrink wrap apply oh there we go apply it here i mean let's add some solidify first bring it uh the thickness to negative okay so you get something like that if you don't want to be that super thick i mean it's way too thick if you want go to here 0 0.003 then it should reduce oh it's a negative negative i mean negative point zero zero did must, must be double zero okay see that would do i mean it's still way to take but it's not too much but i'm not satisfied okay negative point zero zero one uh yeah that would do it's still okay that would do actually so i'm gonna apply the shrink wrap control a oh cannot uh, uh, modify on this type Meh. right let me try it again apply as a shape key let me try all right it can so i'm gonna apply as a shape key then still can't maybe i need to convert this to the mesh ah yes when this thing when you're gonna make this convert it to mesh okay convert it into mesh not curve i don't know what curve or pencil mesh and it's all it should apply all of them all right I zoom it see i still i still have my solidify there we go very easy now let's color this in a very lazy way lazy but it's good for good to learn there we go let's start with the date i'm gonna go with uh red yeah red would do i don't need subdivision specular up there roughness well you don't need to be that shiny okay oh yeah the specular as well it's just a text all right for the paper i'm just gonna go with yellowish Something yellowish the reason why it's followed because we uh, actually duplicate this one actually go to here that's why the color are the they mix color but don't worry we can adjust that okay i'm gonna go to yellow but not too much yellow 
something like that something like that would be fine. and for this one i'm gonna x that one this is gonna be different oh so what color should i go i mean hmm, maybe white would do maybe white oh i switched to white not black uh, yeah 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 i'm gonna go with uh, stick with white uh you know what i'm gonna go with silver silverish there we go dark dark silverish oh i accidentally clicked that one don't worry nothing gonna happen and for this one of course gold or you can pick anything color any color you like completely up to you all right i'm not gonna subscription surface specular roughness i'm not gonna add anything i mean the texture or something i'm just gonna be easy and for this one again same i subsurface ior to one or you can go to zero okay just press here and press zero and it should be 100 percent zero okay specular go to the roughness up all right so let's see in the layout mode okay go to here EV mode, bring up the light camera. Press the lamp. Oh, that's the light. Grab that to the X. Oh, turn this up. Grab that to the Y. Okay, let's see in EV. I mean, the cycle. There we go. Look at that, guys. Very simple, easy, quite lazy as well, but it's way better than nothing. Oh, and don't forget, once you're done with your modeling, apply all of this uh, modifier okay so that's all for today thanks for watching this easy lazy video and oh oh i forgot to say uh, that next week i'm not gonna well do a tutorial but i'm gonna make it by this week and make schedule on it okay so yeah we all need to enjoy for the christmas and new year as well so okay that's all for today Thanks for watching, try it yourself, make this lazy simple stuff, and happy blendering. Alright, bye right now.